All right, we are recording now. Okay. Is it just you, Matt, and I? Jesus, uh, Jesus is, here. is here as well. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. All right. Hi. Well, this is the core group, so should we get going? Yeah. All right. So I just so I know we have a right no, you guys missed quite an event last night with the chaos mail lists. Jesus knows about it. Jesus, I was telling I saw, you about, I, about the chaos mail. I saw list. some messages. Oh, good grief. What happened? Um, all, well, I guess we could do it later when we're not being recorded. <laughs> well, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'll tell you about it later, I guess. It was kind of a mess. Okay. You get your get your meeting on the road here. All right. I think, uh, Jesus, we if if I understand from the meetings that we had yesterday and some of the emails, we want to do our regular agenda, but then we also want to discuss our goals for 2019. Uh, do we want to do our regular agenda process first, Jesus? I'm not hearing you, Jesus. I see you. Oh, are we waiting for Jesus? Yeah, he's he's on. I know you're on your phone, Sean. Yep. He's on, but his mm -hmm. audio is not coming. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I actually can hear you. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I was saying that you were asking about the plannings for the next year because of the meeting tomorrow. Is that right? I, I think that in the, I don't recall if you were on the call yesterday, but we discussed that our group should start doing some planning for 2019, not with the goal of finishing it today, but to include that on our agenda. And I'm happy to include it after we do our regular agenda or before, depending on your preference. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, um, same. It doesn't matter to me. Um, maybe we could start with the regular agenda just to make sure that we make our issues and we request progress, and then we discuss about that, if that's okay with you. That sounds good. Okay. Okay, in that case, we can, uh, we can just uh, have a look uh, at the pending issues. I don't know if you have any comment because I think they are a bit stalled. I'm on the phone, Jesus, oh. so oh, okay. you can sorry. go ahead and drive yeah, through the process yeah. today. Yeah, no, <laughs> of course, sorry, I didn't notice. Yeah, uh, so we have number 551, which is for preparing the Google Summer of Code proposal. I don't know if this should be better in the governing uh, repository, but uh, it's okay here too. So we, can, we can have it anyway, but nothing to do with it now, I think. So the other one was uh, 50, which is uh, the use case for community managers. I think this is pending until you sync and write in. I saw the, the, the blog post, so I think it, it's related to that, right? Sen, it, it is okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to make out. Uh, say that again, Jesus. No, I'm just saying that uh, uh, the, the the use case that you intend to submit is related to the one that you submitted as a as a blog post, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then that that's fifty. Yeah. So, so nothing new there. Then we have uh, forty eight. Forty eight is waiting for Carl to submit something. I can ping him by, by email because we already pinged him in the in the issue and couldn't answer, I think. Uh, then we have the, the, the refined the code level development focus area, which is pending a pull request, I think. Or let me check. No, it's not. Just a second. No, this one is just pending your comments. Right? Or well, any comment. I Which think. one is this? This is um, 44. And, okay. 44? Yeah, refined code development one. focus area. Yeah. So I was proposing, the, the idea was to go through all, the, just to, to, to brief you, if you don't remember, 
The idea was to go through all the focus areas and try to, uh, on the one hand, clean them up a bit, and then try to be more specific about the goals and uh, from the goals derive the, the, the questions and then the metrics. So doing it in a more top-down approach, right? Maybe for letting them similar to how they are now, or maybe for shaking them and, and, and moving them a lot. Uh, so depending on each of the focus areas. So the first one was this one about uh, code development. And uh, I was just proposing uh, some goals. And so um, basically to avoid being me the only one contributing here, I would just need some comments. That can be, uh, I, I agree, or, or, or something else, right? I gotcha. Is there, so, is that one, do you think, ready to be uh, turned? That's the one that, is that one one that's going to become a use case, Jesus? Uh, not exactly. So um, we have one use case pending in pull, as a pull request, but I'm now, uh, now I'm talking about the issue number 44, which is refined uh -huh. for the focus area, which is the other thing that we that the thing that we decided to go top down, like the diversity and inclusion team is doing. So the idea, if you remember, yeah. was to, to go through all the, the the description of the focus areas and try to improve right. the descriptions. So in this issue, I right. was proposing I was proposing some goals. If you find them reasonable, I can just pro produce the pull request for that and go there. So the idea was to have some basic discussion, since this is the first one that we are dealing with, just to know whether basically you agree on my approach or you prefer to do something else. And uh, once you, you do that, I can produce a pull request with basically the same command, and we can advance. OK. Then move into the so, question. So issue 44 requires a comment from me, and then yep. we can push it forward. Okay. I would say that, yeah, I would say from anyone, <laughs> right? OK. Yeah. Yeah, right now the repository structure, Sean, like just the the code development markdown page yeah. Yeah. is it has one goal kind of sitting at the top. Yeah, that it, seems it has not the right. Table, the table that has all the metrics in it right below. Yeah. And so in right. the issue, Jesus is proposing um, a better articulation of goals. Yeah, so we, we discussed okay. this. We discussed it like uh, uh, two meetings ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yep. and, uh, and and basically what I tried to do was to uh, put in writing what we discussed it. Yeah. Right. So uh, the the thing is that maybe you can find out if that's right or not, and and well, any feedback, right? Okay. I I I need to look at it, Jesus. I'm sorry. I will yeah, take a look worry, at it today. No and... But it, it's not only for you. It's for everybody. So let's. Let's try okay. to comment on it, and, and that's fine. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. Then there, that's, there that's is forty-four. Correct. Uh, that's forty-four, right? Yeah. Then we I, have. Uh, yeah. When I when I send out the uh, meeting notes list, I'll I'll make a call for comments for that issue as well. Yeah. The email list. Yeah. So anyone can comment. Otherwise, I'm going to move forward. But the idea would, was to have some feedback before. Yeah. Okay. Then we have forty-three. I know that Kevin has started to work on this, so I think that uh, we accepted a pull request related to this one. Kevin, is that right? 43. Oh, some broken links. Was that a question for me, Jesus? I missed it. It's for Kevin. Yeah, it's for Kevin. Kevin, uh, you submitted a pull request that I accepted for fixing some of the links. What I didn't check is uh, whether this fixed all the links and we can close the issue. Or maybe there are some some more links uh, still to be fixed. You're muted, Kevin. Uh, I fixed all of the links that I could find. Uh, I didn't I didn't go through and check every link on the website though. So okay, no, that's fine could, because could, it was mainly for focus areas. So if that's the case, I can close it. And if somebody if somebody finds out some other links in the focus area which are still uh, uh, broken. Just we open the issue. Is yep. that right? Yep. I, yeah. Okay. I, I would say, Kevin, it's probably a good idea to go through once case two does that for, for that particular one. And it's pushed. Uh, just go through and check all the links because I think there's been, I think one of the pull requests I made after I, even though it looked, even though the links, 
I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but even though the links were working in my fork, when I did the merge of the pull request, then the links didn't work. Um, in some cases, I'm not exactly okay. sure what I know I'm the, messing the, up, but. The folder structure did change in a couple places. Uh, yeah. On, on two different, well, probably three different, uh, three different pull requests, pull requests. I think, uh, the folder structure kind of changed over time. So it's, it's yeah. not surprising that that happened. Uh, and I did, I, yeah. I mean, I, I fixed probably 40 links. Uh, right. Yeah, there was a so, lot of them. So, so basically I'm closing it. If somebody, uh, if, if somebody notices uh, that someone is still, something is still broken, just reopen the issue and we deal with it. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Although I would, I would be comfortable if like, if we merge this pull request and if Kevin would go through and check the links, if he finds yeah. broken links, I would be comfortable with him just fixing the broken links and doing a pull request solely to make all of the broken links work and not changing any content. As opposed to like putting it through the review process. Um, Okay, that, like that's fine. We, but get the, we get the repo up and tidied up, I suppose uh, I'm saying. Sen, Sen, we were talking about the issue, not the pull request yet. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, so and, and now we can discuss that because maybe you, you're right, maybe in the pull request there is something uh, broken too. Okay, uh, then let's move to 33, which is uh, the use case uh, submitted from uh, uh, by um, Ray. And this is pending the, the review of the pull request. So now we can talk about it. And the other two are all issues that we still need to deal with at some point, but they are more generic, uh, defining what is organization and sub, and sub projects in some of the metrics. But for now, I think this that- is Ray's um, issue that's a, This is Ray's issue that's a use case? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if, if you- I, Yeah, please go ahead. I'm good. I'm good with going ahead with it. I think I did make a few comments in a review, mm -hmm. but but I'm I'm okay if we just create that use case and and start working through it as it was or as it is. And if okay. there's, I can't remember if I made any. I don't think any of the issues or questions I raised in my review um, warranted holding the train back. Okay, if we are talking about uh, um, pull request uh, number 47, first draft of code uh -huh. contributions by new contributors. So this was based yeah. on discussion on the issue. And in fact, we had, as, as you said, seen uh, a, a fruitful uh, discussion in the, in the issue. So what I tried to do mm -hmm. was to convert that into a pull request with a specific text. And if all of you are good, the only thing that we can do is to, to merge it. But uh, I would prefer that somebody else merges it so that it's clear that, um, you know, this is the opinion of several of us. Yeah, I'm happy to merge it. I can do that this afternoon. I can't do it right now, like I've, yeah, okay, but I'm happy to merge don't that. Worry. Yeah. Don't worry, that's, that's great. In fact, if, if, okay. when you are going, if when you are going to merge it, you find something specific that you want to, to, to change or something, that's let me know and, and I will. Okay. Okay, and I think uh, this is all for now with respect to issues and pull request. So, anything okay. else related to this? I think that's our usual routine agenda, right? Sorry? I think that's the usual, these are the things that, the pull requests and issues which we just went through, that's what our ordinary agenda is. So, I yeah. think then, that we have, if there's nothing else, and there might be other things that we folks want to discuss, then we would move on to the strategic or the annual 2019 planning discussion. Yeah, that's fine. There was something else in the agenda. I'm looking for it. Kevin, maybe do you remember? Uh, the governing board. Uh, yeah, proposal. You want to add to the uh, agenda for the governing board meeting? Okay, not, not from my side. Anyone wants to add anything except for this uh, strategic discussion that Sen is proposing? I, I looked at Matt's slides that he sent around and I think what he had for our working group looks correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Separate separate from our working group, I start, I looked at the, um, this is sort of related, I looked at the slide for the software committee and added updates on each of the pieces of software 
including Prospector, which I just left as a listed item. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe we want to discuss the role of Prospector and um, if, if there is a champion or advocate that wants to continue to develop it, it's laid door, unlike Craig it, Auger and Grimoire Lab have each seen significant development in the last year. But I, unless in some exchange recently, Prospector hasn't had a new commit since we merged it with Chaos. So that yeah. might be an item to discuss. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons why I was proposing a procedure for moving our repository to the attic. So then that yeah, means yeah. there is not enough activity, so let's move it to the attic, and then we can decide later if it makes sense to keep it in, in, in the structure. Okay. I mean, I'm happy to keep it. I, I just, I guess, want to draw attention to the fact that it's kind of dormant and see if yeah. that question prompts any renewed engagement. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Okay, so um, if there is nothing else about the agenda for tomorrow, uh, let's talk about the strategy for the next year. Yeah, so let me let me just plan. give a little. Can I give a little background on this? This is yeah, please. Yep. So this kind of comes out of the diversity and inclusion work group, and it's clear that the majority of work in the chaos project is occurring in the work groups. And so the chaos project overall as a large umbrella would really benefit from having the work groups define their goals so that those goals can be expressed at the project level clearly. Yes. And so that's kind of it, kind of the bottom up approach I think will work very well here as opposed to the chaos project telling the work groups what to do because that's just not the structure we've had so far. So I, that's the request, the reason for the request. Okay. So from my point of view, the, the, the idea would be to produce um, some of the metrics, if, if possible, for the next ChaosCon, which is in two months from now. I would like to have mm -hmm. at least one, one, if possible, two of the focus areas, at least with a draft for our proposal. But honestly, I don't know. It's going to depend to, at, at the pace we can work during the next few weeks. And uh, for the rest of the year, I would like to go through all the focus areas, make them consistent with the use cases that we can get during this time. So basically, invest in, in having more use cases, more detailed use cases, and in the top-down approach so that by, the, by summer or something like that, we may have um, a formal release, let's say, of all the focus areas, at least with the first version of the metrics. So that we can really produce something because we have been, you know, for a while, for a while doing this, and we still didn't produce even the first version of the metrics. So, so that, that would be my goal. I don't know exactly the schedule, but maybe for, for summer or something like that. Is, um, is, that um, yeah, please go ahead. Say, just do you see in the chat window? Oh, no, I'll show this to you when you get here. So, yeah. What? I, okay. Go ahead and describe it. I have a thought, but go go ahead. And work through that right now. Yeah, so this is a document. Are you seeing it, Jesus? I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Um, so the, basically they have a couple, the DNI group has a couple headings. So they have a problem statement, an opportunity, goal, and risks. So these are kind of the high level categories, problem statement, opportunity, goal, and risk. And then Really towards the end is kind of the more, I think the things you were talking about, Jesus, which are the objectives, the, the more pragmatic parts. Mm -hmm. So this is, I think it would be nice if, you know, I'm always a big fan of following structure between the work yeah. groups. So my, my main concern, Matt, is that we have been talking about metrics and all of these for more than one year. And we still didn't deliver anything. Uh, but on the other hand, we have clear ideas, at least in some of the focus areas and some of the of the metrics in them, because both uh, CN is implementing them and some people are finding them useful. And mm -hmm. we are implementing them in your more lab and some other people are finding them useful as well. Yep. Uh, so I would like to, I, I don't mind having a strategy document or something like that, that's fine. Yep. But I, I would focus on delivering the metrics. 
I, I 100% agree. So, and I think those can be clearly defined in the objectives. Um, yeah. Of this document, and I not of this one, but something similarly structured. Because I, I agree with you, Jesus. One of the, I think one of the challenges with the chaos project is actually seeing these discussions be put into practice. I think this is the point you're making. Yeah. Um, so well, what I mean is, if we can produce a document like this one quickly and without a lot of discussion, yeah. even if it is not the better document in the world, but it is good enough, so I'm happy. But yeah. this is going to, to include a lot of discussions and this is going to prevent us from working in other staff for a couple of weeks. Well, I would prefer to focus on the metrics, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I see what you're saying. Well, how about um, maybe Kevin, maybe you and I could do a draft of this. And if yeah. it doesn't, if it doesn't, yeah, that even sounds good. Time. Okay, that would I, be great. I think, I, mean, I think maybe we could start a Google Doc and, and draft it together. One of, the, one of the thoughts I had is that because we have a lot of metrics enumerated and have that a lot of people have a good conceptual understanding of in our working group but we haven't fully defined them yet i think there's a for each metric that falls under a use case there's kind of a natural workflow of listing the metric describing it and enumerating how to implement it and then from there there can be one to n different software implementations of that metric and i think it would be good because of the nature of this work group to have, I don't want to use the word dashboard, but we all know what that means, but some kind of dashboard or area where you can see the status and progress of the development of this fairly large collection of discrete metrics that we're working towards in the context of each of these focus areas so okay. that someone could come to our working group and see, like that's, this is the goal in my mind, that we make it so that someone can come to our working group see the collection of metrics that we have and then potentially use that as a context for opening an issue, making a comment and helping us iterate on the utility of both discrete metrics and the overall collection under the focus areas. Okay. Uh, does so, that make sense? Yeah, it does to me. Go ahead, Jesus. No, from my point of view, um, I'm not saying that uh, the, your approach is not, uh, is not, uh, not right, Sin, but maybe complementary to that, I would like to focus on having at least one of the focus area fully implemented from the goals to the questions to the metrics and to the implementation of the metrics as soon as possible I agree. so that people can really follow the whole process. Because my impression is that people who could maybe be interested in, in contributing right now find this a bit, uh, you know, a bit in the air because there is discussions about the metrics, but then nothing happens. And, uh, 100%. I, I agree. Okay. We so need maybe to do we that can... because it gives people a model to follow, yeah. and it gives us a chance to work out our model. Yeah. So that's why I would process. like to. I would like to for for engaging people not not that much interested in the group. I, I would like to produce as I mean to to uh, let people produce use cases that anyone can really produce. But for the specific delivery of the group, we need to to work on the focus areas and yep. produce uh, all the process at least for one of those. That's why I would try to, uh, as hard as possible, to have at least one of the focus areas completely done by February, so that we can present it at, uh, at the chaos count. Okay. I agree with that goal. And I, I would like to suggest, or at least to consider before we finalize it, that we maybe have the first goal be exactly that, that we have a fully fleshed out focus area. And then the second goal be that we have a fully developed kind of a status system for the full collection of focus areas, metrics, and use cases. And then the third goal be to flesh out a second focus area fully. Uh, and, and then I don't know what the third, fourth major goals would be, but I think obviously filling out all of them by the end of the year is the end, the end game for 2019, I think. Uh, um, I don't know if that can be any specific goal, but one of our goals, I think, should be to alert the group, because right now there is just a few people yes. within, and it's important because I think there are many people in care that can contribute, but maybe they don't really know how to do that, and they may become a bit yeah. frustrated because they don't see the results of their contributions. 
I concur. And I, I, I think you? getting to that, getting that first set of focus area goal, getting the first focus area fleshed out by ChaosCon in early February, I think serves that goal of enlarging the group. Mm -hmm. Like I think it make it will make it easier for people to understand how to engage and contribute to this working group once yeah, we've done I, that. Yeah, I think so. So that, that's the, uh, the way why, well, you know, Sin, we are proposing a talk for Chaoscon on the procedures of the working group so that people can understand mm -hmm. how to contribute. And uh, yeah, yeah, I fully agree. Uh, so can I ask a question? You have, ask a question you, you have persuaded me. Yes. Let me ask you a question. So when when you say complete one focus area, does that mean all the way through that focus area being deployed in Grimoire Lab and Augur? Uh, not necessarily, but at least have um, reference implementations, which are more okay. simple. So, um, if, so possible, yeah. if possible, have it implemented at least partially in Augur and on um, Grimoire Lab, of course, that could be interesting. But the time frame is quite short. So I, I don't know, because first of all, we need to define the metrics precisely. And okay. that's something that is going to take some time. But at least I think we should have uh, reference implementation for most of the metrics. For one focus area? February. Yeah. yeah. By February? Yeah. OK. Yes. And uh, you know, I think Jesus and I are each, and, and even I think, you know, I, mean, I think Jesus and I are both motivated to implement as many as we can in Augur and for more lab. I, I think Jesus' question about feasibility is the right one. I don't know that we'll get there, so I don't want to make that part of the goal, but I think that's always something that we're going to strive for. Yeah. yeah well, I, I, agree. I think this is a goal for 2019, right? So, I mean, you can have the February yes. target, Jesus. Yeah. I don't know that we'd have to keep February on a document, but a, a goal could be building out focus areas and having reference implementations for all of them by the end of yeah. 2019. Yeah. Uh, in the end, it could be like having the first release of the working group metrics sometime during summer, if possible okay. before summer, but certainly for the next Chaos Co in America. Okay. I think should be after summer or something like that, like, th like this year. Okay. And so that first release would be all of the focus areas? Depends, okay. on, okay. depends on the schedule, but should be, I think. Okay. And, and there is time for that. I'm not, I'm not holding you to anything. I'm just trying to <laughs> give yeah. my... <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, I understand what you mean. So my, my main concern is uh, whether we can streamline the process, because right now we are a bit slow, and my impression is that we still don't have fleshed out the process completely. Okay. Uh, once we have that, if it works, I think we can do that, but that's going to depend on whether the process works and people can contribute, um, you know, uh, in a way that it's flexible enough and all of that. Okay. Um, to your point earlier, Jesus, about that a year has been spent without necessarily having these focus areas and reference implementations. I think that's completely fine for getting an open source project off the ground. No, yeah. that's great. That, 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 that's yeah. right. So I agree. I'm not worried about that, but I'm okay. worried about uh, not the next year. I mean, we, we need to deliver at some point. Yeah, I could, yeah, right. You can't go another year, I don't think. Yeah, say, exactly. Well, we'll exactly. So, Agreed. So for me, Agreed. it's fine because during this last year, we have done a lot of things including setting up the structure of the group itself, which is yeah. quite important and, and quite interesting. But now we are supposed to be done with the organizational issues, let's say, yeah. and we need to start delivering, I Agreed. think. Okay, I agree. Cool. Okay, great. Yes. So uh, uh, a second points then, uh, maybe Matt, Kevin, and, um, and, and you can uh, draft this in written, yep. and then we can go through it and try to have it ready during the next few weeks, I think. So that I got a lot of good notes just from this discussion here, so. Okay, okay, great. Yeah. So do, do you think that this is enough for this discussion on uh, a strategy for next year or? Yep, this is good for me. Okay, great. I mean, I think this, this if um, Matt or Kevin can create a document for us to start fleshing out the 2019 plan, then Jesus, you and I can contribute to that and perhaps we can make this a topic of discussion on our call next week as well. Okay, agreed.
Okay, good. Anything else about this item? No, I'm good. I am also good for now. Okay. So if there is no other opinion, anything else about any other topic that you may want to discuss today? No, I have no other topics for this week. Okay. Uh, I wanted to say something. I didn't want to yes. say it before, yes, because I didn't want to add more noise on the discussion, but I sent an email to the mailing list today yep. talking Sorry. about an issue I have opened in Grimoire Lab because I'm starting building some uh, dashboards in Kibana on top of Grimoire Lab to implement some of the metrics uh, we have in the code development area, focus area. So uh, I will be, it will be uh, good if you could have a look at the issue and comment if you have something to say. I try, I'm trying to start simple. So I'm trying to implement a simple metric per, per dashboard because uh, just starting with this, uh, there are a lot of things that I think uh, it is worth to discuss. For instance, I started with the pull request merge metric and one thing I, I realize is that on GitHub, you cannot be sure if a pull request is merged or, or not, uh, relying on the API. Because sometimes if you rebase a, a pull request and then you merge the pull request, the API says that the, the, the pull request is closed, but not merged. So what? Well, this is a discussion not for here, but for the issue but it will be great if you could help me to define how we can identify these kind of things, how can we define how the metrics will be applied. And of course, this is a first approach for simple metrics, but the idea is uh, as uh, we are defining more use cases on top of the metrics, we can build uh, more, uh, let's say, complex uh, dashboards to implement the, the use case. So probably uh, this is aligned with uh, what there's even a there's even a more complex case that you'll find with uh, pull requests that are uh, closed but not merged. So sometimes the pull requests are closed, not merged, and then opened again later and merged. And I think one of the, and we I think Jesus and I have discussed something like this, maybe not around pull requests but around issues, yeah. where what we want to do is look at the state within whatever window it is we're looking at. So if the time window we're looking at, if this pull request is closed but not merged, then that's how it's reported um, at, the, at the end date of that window, even though its state might be different later. And closed and not merged, I think we've, and I know we, we haven't discussed this, but in Augur, we've interpreted that as somebody made a pull request somebody who is in charge of the project, the committer usually has said, this is not a pull request that we want to merge, <coughs> at least at this time. Like that that's the way we've interpreted that state. So the, the problem here seems to be that when you are closing the pull request, uh, you cannot know if it was closed with a merge that was rebased. So it's in fact an accepted pull request and merge or one that was declined. Because in, in both cases, you have a closed pull request and no reference to the commit. Because I think that's because of the rebasing, because usually you have one commit in the pull request, but if you rebase, the hash for the commit changes and the API is not relating both. But in any case, for, you, from my point are, of view, are are you, you, sorry, please go ahead. Uh, I know that the pull request status, the way that this particular kind of thing is accessible is different in version three and version four, which is the graph API or the GraphQL version. I'm curious which API version we're discussing right now. I think version three. Alberto, you know better, okay. right? Graph, so sure, GraphQL opens up GraphQL opens up a lot more insight than the old version of the API did. Okay, but this is the kind of discussion I would like to have with respect to how to actually implement in the, the issues. So this is okay. quite interesting, uh, Sen. 
So if you don't mind, uh, go to the issue and comment on this, because for instance, if this is something sure. that can be solved with uh, version four of the API, that's something that we sh should say clearly in the implementation references for the metric. Okay. Something like you need to use version four for implementing this properly. And that's one of the value of the added value that we can provide to the community because people don't need to, okay. you know, Okay, that that's great. Thank you yeah. very much for that. Is that is this is this issue in is this an open issue, Casus? It it is. I think uh, Alberto, maybe you can link it uh, here. Well, you are on the Alberto, phone. Alberto, he posted it to the chaos list. Okay. okay. I've got a I've okay. got a link in the notes too, as well as a call for comments. Okay. Thank you. So, in fact, uh, I I talked Alberto to open the issue in the uh, CDL's repository, which is where he is implementing the dashboards. But maybe we can open a companion uh, issue in the working group just to discuss the details of how to implement the metric in general, not, not in the specific case of Remore Lab. But these things that you said, Sen, about something about this something being supported in version four and not version three of the API, that's quite interesting for the implementation, for the reference implementation. Yeah. So that and these uh, these get into these and, and um, you know, this is more of a meta question, but these kinds of questions get into, so we're up to this point, we've talked mostly about how we want to define them and providing reference implementations using the Jupyter notebooks or other means. Now we're also talking about how we might source data from, mm -hmm. from different places. And this has come up in the Augur discussions. When we think about our back end, we're, we're working towards a little bit more clarity about the source of the data because you can get you guys can get different answers by mining the Git repository versus GH torrent versus version three or version four of the GitHub API, and that, so you know there are these are concrete implementation details. Mm -hmm. And my my I guess my question is, and I don't have an answer. Where what is the right way to capture these at a working group or chaos project level, so that they're not buried in the issues for a particular physical implementation of the metrics. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like these, these kinds of data sourcing issues, I think are, are important to the community and they're important to each of the implementations that are going. Um, so in an ideal world, it would be great if we had some place where these discussions at least got indexed or referenced so that they were like not buried in an auger issue or not buried in a another concrete implementation issue. Yeah, no, that's, why I, that's why I said that maybe we can open a companion issue in the working group repository to discuss about these details. Because in any case, I think that's at some point we that's need to do. That's a good idea. Okay, I can open it, just link into the other one, and maybe following up the discussion on which version of the API should be used, and which, is, which ones are the problems of using version three or version four, and how to define this in a way that can be implementable. Well, and I'll look at the linked issue. I, I'm speaking in a, I know we've run across these differences in the GitHub API versions on things we're doing on Augur. So yeah. I, I'll look at the specific issue and bring what we know into it. Sean, okay. are, you, are you also talking about creating a, uh, like a fact style document? Um, I think the ultimately that could, that, that, that could be useful. I think Jesus's idea of having a, a sort of, I don't know, I'll call it for lack of a better word, a meta issue about concrete implementations that maybe originates in one of the, like Grimoire Lab or Craigit and ends up being linked inside of a working group issue so that we can discuss the questions of data sourcing more generally. I mean, ultimately it's gonna end up closing an issue in one of the implementations, but I think for now, Jesus's suggestion of opening uh, a, what I'll, I'll get, I'll call it a meta issue, even though that might not be the right term in the working group, gives us a place to see that yeah. at least, or to have a reference to it that's shared. And, and remember that in the description of the metric, we should have something like implementation notes or something where we should uh, write down the recommended way of, implement, of implementing the metric. And for instance, mm -hmm. that may that may imply in the case of GitHub, please use version four of the API because with version three you have these and these problems that we have previously and I, discussed in the issue. 
And I think I think ultimately these kind like some kind of indexed managed um, set of issues like this. So I suggest, Kevin, the thing that you could do right now is create a, an issue category or or tag or label that can be applied to issues like this. So when later we want to go and aggregate them for the project, they're easier to access. Because I think I think doing it at the chaos project level with questions like this will increase people's trust in what the metrics mean, their consistency across implementations, how to interpret them, what the issues are. Um, so I think that the more information we can index for stuff like this makes the all the work we're doing more trustworthy so people can yeah. zoom in. Maybe we can open, you can use a tag, implementation details, for instance, uh, for this kind yeah. of discussion, which is quite interesting, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? I think in the long run, but I will say in the long run, Kevin's suggestion of, of, of an FAQ or something like that for these kinds of things is, I think, important and a great idea. I just think where we are right now, mm -hmm. we have one, so we should build up a collection before we start the FAQ, is all I'm saying. Not poo pooing yeah, the FAQ, no, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I agree. So, anything of, uh, I mean, uh, in any collection that we do of this kind of documentation is going to be very interesting because uh, these issues are going to pop up once and again in any implementation of the metrics. So, it's better that it's, let's say, centralized it in some way where the knowledge base is easily accessible by anyone. So, yeah, I agree. Maybe maybe what we can do is after the discussion in the issue, the conclusions, maybe we can try to write them in a kind of a document. Yeah. Okay. So anything else that you want to discuss today? I have nothing else. Okay, then I think we are done. Yes. Um, All right, thank thanks, you. folks. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you no. next week. See ya. Yeah. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.